welcome to episode one of Maffet Primary School Learners Education Series, Benefits of Inculcating Reading Habits in Children. This series seeks to provide discussions on the benefits of reading and its impact on children's social skills development. I'm Rick Blossom, or your four learner of Waffle Fuller Pond. I'm 10 years old. Joining us in our discussions today are Emosa Eliana Ejosa Himen. Brabuke Bracken, me precious. Kina Kamduch Kapita. So let's start by explaining what reading is all about. Emosa, kindly tell us what you understand by reading. Thank you, Blossom. Reading is the process of taking in the sense of meaning of words, letters, symbols, etc., especially by sight or touch. Reading is an active process of constructing meaning of words. People read for different reasons, some for research, amusement, leisure, and to gain knowledge. The main goal of reading is comprehension, that is from a written text. Without comprehension, reading is frustrating and pointless. Thank you. Thank you, Emosar. Now that we are all aware of what reading is all about, Let's just look at some of the benefits of reading. Bracken me, please enlighten us on the benefits of reading. Thank you, Blossom. It is generally well known that reading improves focus and concentration in academics. Children have to sit still and quietly so they can relate with the story when reading. If they read often, they've developed the skill to do this for long. That same focus is essential for social interactions. Think of the many crucial traits of a quick conversationalist. The ability to be present in the moment and to give your full attention to your partner and to wait for your partner to give a thought before adding yours and to stay in the conversation even if it has become tedious or a source of conflict. Sounds like a book, doesn't it? Really books help children develop that patience and concentration which makes them better at conversation and conflict resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Brecken. Tina, what do you have to say about the benefits of reading? Reading books, particularly fiction, increases empathy. While reading, the ability to step into another's mind to feel what they feel and understand your thoughts seems achievable. Adults have a hard time explaining how it works, so imagine how hard it is for us children. In fact, children are not born with the ability to feel empathy. They learn to skip social interaction with their family, their parents, and society in general. Luckily, books can help with that. Research shows that reading puts us in the mind of another person and triumphs over adversities. Right alongside our favorite characters, this is what us first reading is all about. Thank you. Eliana, what do you have to say? Adding to what Kina said, consistent reading helps children develop good vocabulary and language skills. Children who read often and widely get better at it. After all, practice makes perfect knows everything humans do. I mean, no difference. Children learn new words as they read. Subconsciously, they absorb information and how to structure within sentences effectively in their writing and speaking. Thank you. Thank you, Eliana. Mrs. Mercy Igara, the school mm -hmm. counselor. And you are? This is Vivian Uwareka, the school secretary. Okay. Now let's get straight to the questions. Mrs. Gara, this one is for you. Tell me a little about Morphe School. Morphe School was established in June 6th, 2009 and we provide qualitative education. We are known for having the neatest, the most conducive, standard, and student-friendly environment with top-notch facilities. We do a combination of the Nigerian, American, 
and British curricular e-learning and pre-vocational activities to enable our learners explore their talents and be self-reliant. We have qualified, experienced and dedicated staff. As you know, it takes a great staff to make a great school. Morphe School is a home away from home. We are all about training a total child. Wow, that sounds great. Over to you, Mr. Seweka. Why should Morphe School be a parent's best, best choice for his or her child? There are lots of things that make Morphe School distinct. One is our curriculum. At Morphe School, we operate a broad-based curriculum. We use the Nigerian, the British, and the American curricula. At Moorfield, we also have what is called the catch-up class. What this means is when a topic or a lesson is being introduced in class, they already lay down objectives. And as teachers, we know that not every child can assimilate at the same pace. Now in the British system, we believe that every child should learn at their own pace. So we introduce the catch-up class. When a topic is taught, after the evaluation of that topic, the teacher is going to find out that one or more learners have not been able to have a proper understanding of what has been taught. So learners who have that issue are going to be in the catch-up class where there's going to be a reteaching of the topic that has been taught before. So they're going to teach it again and reevaluate such learners. Now, this could be a one-off thing. It could also take two or more classes. We also have what we call the weekly progress report in Moorfield School. Now, apart from the end of term report, which is given at the end of the term, or the continuous assessment, which is done twice in the term, we do a weekly report to our parents. This means that at the end of each week, the children are evaluated on the subjects, the core subjects that have been taught for the week, which includes mathematics, English studies, general paper, and Christian religious studies. At the end of this test, accumulation is done and the report is sent to the parents so that at a weekly interval, the parent can know the performance of his or her child or their children, as the case may be. It is on clear record that more fit school learners and students who have participated in the primary school living certificate examination and the basic school certificate examination always come out in flying colors. We've set the records for straight A's and distinctions over the years, which are void of examination malpractice. Examination malpractice is an act that is not condoned in any form in Moorfield School. At Moorfield School, we have a crop of staff who are disciplined, qualified, well-motivated in the broad-based curriculum. Now, our teachers are trained on a regular basis to keep them abreast with the ever-changing methods of teaching to make them up-to-date and be able to deliver quality education to our learners. Morfit School also believes in vocational studies. As we all know, vocational studies is about preparing the child for work life after school. So we inculcate in our children the habit of learning skills like craft making, beading, hair making, making of clothes, tie and dye, weaving, knitting, and lots of others. This is to make sure that they are independent even after school. There are lots of things that they can do to help themselves even when they are in the higher institutions. This also includes baking of different things as well. At Moorfield School, we believe that swimming is a survival skill that every child should have. So we inculcate it in our children from the very tender ages. 
From the special treasures, which is our first nursery class, they are introduced to swimming. And it's a weekly activity that is thrown in Moorfield School. We also have games for our children, which is part of our extracurricular activities. We do sports, we do games, we also have ballet classes. We have games like Scrabble and chess, because as the saying goes, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So we try to make learning very much fun for our children. We also have other activities that we do in Morfit School to make school not boring for our children. For example, we have a teddy bear day, we have a pyjamas day, we have a costume day. Some of these exciting things we bring into the school system to make it fun for the children and also to create a memory of a very good lifetime in school for them. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Eweka. Back to you, Mrs. Ngara. Where do you see Morfit School in five years? I see Morfit School being involved more in interstate and international competition. Of course, I know they'll be coming out in flying colors and also establish a new branch, just like the one in Abuja, Sokoro. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Blossom. Reading is a much more complex task to the human brain rather than watching TV. For example, reading stresses brain connections and builds new connections. Reading develops a child's imagination. As we read, our brain translates the descriptions we read of people, places, and things into pictures. While we are engaged in a story, we are also imagining how a character is feeling. Young children then bring this knowledge into their everyday play. Reading teaches children about the world around them. Through reading variety of books, children learn about people, places, and events outside their own experiences. Reading is fun. A book and an e reader doesn't take up much space. It is light, so you can carry it anywhere. With it, you can never be bored. Reading is a great way to spend time together. Reading together with your friends or families on the sofa, bedtime stories, or visiting the library sometimes are just some ways to spend time together. Children who read achieve better grades in school. Children who read achieve better grades in all subjects, not just English. Children who are good readers tend to achieve better grades across the curriculum. Thank you. Thank you, Milton, and everyone for your great contribution. We can now look out how reading improves social skills for children. Academic benefits of reading have been well publicized. What is less often considered is how those skills overlap into social situations. Social skills are a vital part of a child's growth and development. While we are increasingly connected on the digital front, we are becoming less connected in our everyday lives. More children are growing in this fast-paced and hyper-environment as they move on to adulthood into the job market. Learning appropriate methods at an early age will be even more important. Reading books can improve those skills. Do you agree with me, Emotor? I agree with you, Bosom. Reading books enhance social problem solving. In addition to learning empathy, books provide an endless supply of social interactions, examples from which to learn. Scenes full of character dialogue show children effective and ineffective ways to handle a range of worlds they aren't likely to experience in their everyday life. Experiencing these emotions in a safe environment can allow the child to grow more. Reading books also provide topics for discussions. In addition to problem solving, books hold the gold standard of sparking thoughtful discussions, no matter what age you are. Thank you. So there you have it. These are just some of the benefits that reading improves for children. 
However, the best benefit you can create with your child is a lasting and healthy bond. So our dear parents, urge your children to read frequently and actively take part in it. Read to your children no matter how thin that they are. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Sindidi. My name is Akemena Tibuti. I am 10 years old and a learner of Morphe School, Ekma. What do you love about your school? I love the learning processes and techniques, the way activities are being held, and the interior decorations of the classrooms. I also like our school uniforms. It makes us look unique. What subjects or topic excites you? What can you do to dig in and learn more about it? Well, my best subject is English language. I love English language because learning it makes me confident while speaking and I can express my thoughts in creative writings like compositions and essays. I like to read novels too, with a well-equipped and comfortable library like ours. Accessing literary books is made easy and fun. In what areas have you been impacted by Moffitt School? Apart from the academic and intellectual impact Moffitt School has had on me, I have been modeled by the Moffitt School Core Values, which is an acronym called REAL. R stands for respect, A stands for excellence, A stands for accountability, and L stands for leadership and love. Thank you. Thank you, Mena, for joining us. Here you have it, viewers. Remember, stay safe. Stay happy and remain blessed. See you next time. Thanks for watching.